Hello friends. So welcome you to my channel. In our last video, we have seen the control sequence using single bus CPU organization for an instruction where one of the operand was specified in your register in direct mode. That time we have seen the complete journey. That means starting from that instruction, fast decode, getting operand, then doing the operation, storing the result, everything we have seen. So here we'll continue the journey and here we will see once again register in direct mode, but some changes will be there and next immediate mode. So see here one example we have taken that add R1 comma within bracket R3. This instruction represents that we need to add the content of general purpose register R1 with the content of memory location whose address is there in R3 and result need to be written back to memory pointed by R3. That means here this operand is in dual role. Source for my operation, destination for storing the result, right? So in this example, though we are using register indirect mode, most of the part will be similar to my uh, last video. But what is newly added is this register content we will be using to write it into memory. This register content will act as an address. Then our result of addition process will be the content to be written into this location. That means we will here add on the write cycle, right? If we need to perform a write operation to memory, how to do it? So that we'll see here. First part is fetching the instruction. Hope you remember to fetch instruction, content of PC need to be given to MAR. There is no direct connection. So PC content will be placed on the bus. Then only it can be given to MAR. MAR is the only one that is connected to memory. Then read. Done. Then by the time it will give some um, from memory, we will increment the PC. So select four. Why four? Because our assumption is my instruction length is one word that is four bytes and the machine is byte addressable. So select four. Where from it is coming? From the uh, this uh, multiplexer. And who will do this um, increment operation? Definitely ALU will do. What it will do? PC plus four. That these two content will be added and then the result will be given to PC. So here add after addition result I can't place on the bus. So it is Z in and then from Z register we will give it to PC and we are storing extra in Y in also Y register also reason behind I'll explain shortly and then WMFC. Now we can't do anything till the instruction comes from memory. So we will wait till how long we will wait till memory gives me MFC memory function complete signal that time will come out of it. Once we'll come out of it, it indicates data has come from the external bus connected to memory into register MDR. Now from MDR, I need to take it to IR because I'm fetching one instruction. So this is done. After this, we got to know our data is in memory and one in register and we need to add. So we'll start our memory cycle. R3 out and then from this location, uh, we need to perform a read. So R3 uh, content cannot be given to memory directly on the address line. So where I need to send it? MAR, MAR in. And then I'll give the signal read because protocol says give the address, give the signal and then wait for the uh, data to come and then proceed with the operation. Then see read signal we have given. Now see we need to wait. So till that time R1 content will place on the bus. Sorry, we will place on the Y register, right? So in Y register, we are storing the R1's content because that is one of the content of my addition process. So Y in. Now nothing can be done till data comes from that memory location. So WMFC. Once we'll come out of WMFC, where is your data? In MDR. So from MDR, where I see from MDR, it has to go to ALU. Then only addition can be done. So MDR out. What does it mean? It is on the bus. That means it is on the B input. So next input is in Y register. So select Y will take it to A input, select Y. So both the inputs are now available on the ALUs, A and B input. Now you can perform, that is add, because operation is add. And then result will be given to Z register. All these are there because of single bus organization. At the same time, three contents cannot be placed on the bus simultaneously. So at a time, we are putting one content and my operation is binary. So two cycles to give the operands and another cycle to get the result. So RC add Z in, right? And then 
once the result is ready can i just send it to r3 no i need to send it to the memory location whose address is in r3 so r3 out and then mar in here from step number 7 i am trying to explain memory write cycle memory write cycle says give the address then give the data then give the write signal and then wait for the operation to perform and then you can uh, assume once your waiting is over that means operation is done you can conclude the operation is done so r3 out mar in because first i need to give the address and then z out mdr in that comma is there by mistake right then z out mdr in because address has to be given in mar and data need to be given in mdr it will be in because some data we are giving to mdr so now see on the bus in this side your memory is there so address is there data is there now we will give the right signal right right signal is given so once everything is set now memory will take some time to write the data into the given location specified in mar right so then we need to give wmfc once i come out of wmfc it indicates in the given location uh, that data is written so we can complete the instruction that is end please understand these three lines see to write something into memory give the address then give the data and then write signal and then only in the next clock cycle you can give the wmfc and please understand here what you need to write is the result of alu where is that in z register so from there it is transferred to what transfer to mdr so this is about register in direct mode though we have seen it in last video but here it is in the dual role so that also we need to understand so because of that this explanation was there then in the next um, this one and in next i am going to explain immediate mode hope you remember immediate mode immediate mode says data itself is part of the instruction data is part of the instruction and here another assumption i am taking my instruction length is one word that means inside that one word everything will come of code addressing mode data everything is there right so once i do one memory operation in the fast cycle my data is also with me that i will use for my operation to be performed so here my operation is add hash num comma r1 it indicates the data that is num represented by symbolic name num will uh, is added with register r1 and result will be stored in r1 so the journey is again same we need to first fetch the instructions so this part is already explained and it is similar to my previous explanation only so this part is done by the end of clock cycle 3 instruction is there in ir it is been decoded also we got to know we need to perform add operation our data is part of the instruction and another is in r1 and here my instruction is one word so after this one memory operation instruction is there in ir completely then offset field of ir out that means whatever is there in the address field or offset field both are same only that i will take out from the ir and i will place it on the bus and then that is given to y register because i am going to perform a add operation both the contents of r1 and this i can't give on the in the same cycle because two contents cannot be placed on the bus simultaneously so done and after that r1 out because another operand is r1 so r1 out select y y is containing the num now r1 content is on the bus that means in the b input then add signal so both the inputs are there then add then z in and then z out the result will be given to whom r1 and then the instruction whatever is need to be done for this instruction is done so it is end of this particular instruction right hope you are getting this this is very simple here your this one is there so here we have done what is that the address uh, that address part or offset part is containing the data that we have added with our register r1 result is stored in r1 next we'll see the same addressing mode but my assumption is going to change here it is given write the sequence of control steps required for the given bus structure that means for this one the structure e is missing uh, for the following instruction add the immediate number num to register r1 same example only 
but see one more uh, assumption is given assume that each instruction consists of two words right the first word specifies the operation code addressing mode and all and the second word contains the number num so this num is there as part in the second word of your instruction so first word will contain the operation code and all and second part will contain the num so to get this num that my immediate data i need to perform one more memory operation that is as part of instruction fetch and decode only after that only we will proceed with the execution part so see here how it will be done first see add hash num comma r1 syntax is same only but my length of instruction is two word it says that see it is similar to this my instruction is at address 1000 of code part 1004 will hold this num and then at 1008 your next instruction is there next instruction is there right so so to go to the next instruction plus 4 will not help us i need to increment it twice why twice because in this structure only by 4 i can add the content of pc and there is no other way to increment the pc other than via alu so due to that i need to do it twice then it will be uh, becoming pc plus 8 that will be the address of the next instruction pc plus 4 will give me the address of num right so it is not as their part of your ir only it is there in the next word where my opcode and all are stored in the memory so pc out mar in read select for add zed in this part is similar to my previous explanation so again i am not repeating so here what i have got i have got the opcode then the addressing mode and everything then i got to know that address part is there in the next word so i need to get it where is the address in pc as well as in y register also but there is no way of giving the content of y register on the bus so what i will do pc out then mar in because i need to get the num from memory so mar in then i will give the read signal after giving read signal what i can do i can increment the content of pc to your next instruction so select for add zed in then zed out pc in y in if y in i am doing extra and then r1 out and then y in because i am going to perform a add operation another content is there in r1 so r1 out y in and then wmfc now i am waiting for the uh, this num to come from memory so wmfc once i'll come out of it where it will come in mdr so from mdr i need to give it on the bus then it is on the, available on the b input another input is here i'll bring it here by doing select y both the inputs are there now give the add signal then result will be there in z register after that z out result will be given to r1 right here everything we have done whatever is required to do for this instruction so we can prepare ourselves for the next instruction in sequence to start so it is end right so this is end signal right hope you are getting it what is different from the my previous explanation there my instruction length was one word here my instruction length is two word and the two word completely contains my instruction that means the second word is containing the num from that location only the num will be obtained and then i can use it in my uh, operand right so for that here that extra part is there and that extra part is doing what incrementing the pc also because pc plus 8 is containing the address of the next instruction so this is all about your immediate mode using one word instruction using two word instruction hope you are getting from my explanations and if you are liking my explanations then do like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you